Well, today we are going to be looking at one of the greats. Isn't that right, Alex? That's right. I'm so excited for today. He's definitely one of my favorites. Uh, Tom Mullica, he's just one of the best. And I think that um, the stuff we're going to look at today sort of illustrates why that's the case. I think, it, you know, not only is it picking great classic material, but it's his personality. It's the bits. It's all the stuff that he weaves around these things that just elevate it to a new place. And I think that uh, these things that we're going to look at today are just a real good example of all of that. He's, uh, I'm, I'm one telling one. you literally, when I go on road, this book is out of That's print. Terrible. It's hard to get, and it was more money than I had to spend. It was a long time ago. I carry it with me when I go places for fun. <laughs> like, I literally am not at home right now, but this is still here. This is the Tom Malika book. You actually get to, he's so great. What are we going to watch first? We should do the bag, the bag, the bag. <laughs> okay. The bag. All right. All right. <laughs> Let's do the bag. Here we go. This is the bag, the egg bag. All right, uh, share sound. All right, you are so good at this. I'm working, working, working. All right, here That's we one of us, bro. <laughs> Can y'all hear it? Yes. Oh boy, I've got things back here that would surprise you. Here's one. Put that song on, Don't Chop the Wood, Ma. Pa's coming home with a load. <laughs> a room, a room. Just reach in there and turn it inside out. Just pull it inside out. Thank you. right there feel it <laughs> just reach in there and pull it inside out you didn't have to remember anything did you <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's not funny now. <laughs> Do you see anything in there? Nothing. Not yet. Do you see anything in there now? Nothing. Not yet. Well, what do you boys yeah. got? Yeah. <laughs> like, where do you want to start, right? Has anyone ever seen an egg bag even vaguely like that? No. Talk about all the different ways you can present a classic of magic. We keep going back to these, like, classics. You know, we keep going back to things like the egg bag because you can just, you can do so many things with it. That's an example I, of a great egg bag. But Tom's uh, ability, not just as a comic, but as a, as a pantomime, like, Talk about, you know, having nothing in your hand and having it really be in your hand. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what the egg bag is all about. So all the ways that he touched that egg, I've, I've personally never felt 
A, like the egg was so there and so fragile in that bag, the way he handled it. And B, I have never seen a smack. Even Johnny Thompson, I never mm -hmm. saw that bag get smacked in such a way that made me feel quite as much like if there'd been an egg in it, there was no longer one, like ever. That was really, how about this thing? How many different ways did y'all see him touch that egg that was it, it, funny and on some level just profoundly inappropriate? <laughs> <laughs> you know life. what's great is he just, I, he just gets you. You know, like you just, he's, he gets going and then he just puts you in, your, in the web and you don't even, it's not even about the trick anymore. You know, it's like, what's he gonna do next? What's he, you know what I mean? He's just like a, a tremendous entertainer, just tremendous. He's, he's fearless. I think yeah. that's what it comes down to. Every time he does something, he doesn't care if he falls flat on his face, as long as it gets a laugh. You know, he's fearless. Mm -hmm. He just goes into every every single one of these things with like, I might burn up in flames when I do this, but they're gonna love it. What? Was he like playing? Yeah. What instrument yeah. was he pretending to play when he sounded like, bag. Sounded like a he was trying drum. to play the egg bag? <laughs> It it really, really, I just never felt more like there was an egg, a fragile egg in there, and then more like it was gone, and it was just really so clear. You know, you got to just remember, like, it was, I think it was our friend Scott Alexander was just talking about how, like, you know, it's one of these uh, acid tests that a stage performer's teacher will say, you know, like the cruel tutelage of uh, Pay Mai there from, uh, mm. from uh, what was the name of the movie, Kill Bill, right. you know. Right, Denny, right. Denny Haney sent Scott Alexander to the top of the mountain to practice the egg bag. And he came back down after five years of professional magic with, I don't get it. And he said, go back up the mountain. And he came back down five years and he said, I'm going to kill you. I hate this egg bag. And then he said, go back again five years. And eventually, like literally 15 years later, Scott was like, it washed over him. You know, the egg bag rained on him. But so watching Tom Mullica do it though, Mm. I've never seen it feel so different. So every, every different element of the illusion was based on Tom's particular ability. Right. And it's, it's, almost, it's almost like he did it to music, even though he didn't. I mean, he was still speaking when he was doing the thing, but it was almost like it was just like a whole piece that was like a Disney movie, you know, where it's just, you know, the music's going and all the punches are happening with it, but it's really him just playing with the music as it's playing. And it's, a testament to how funny the guy is and how he just understands comedic timing. And it's, uh, it, I laugh as hard as I laugh every time I watch that guy. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Alex. I'd never even seen him do it before. I mean, I've seen most of this stuff on here, but uh, not that I hadn't seen that bit. There's so much packed in, right, Steve? Like, there's so much you can miss about Molika. Like, you can watch it. I, I, the thing about that that really gets me is how he just really, like, A, picked the right piece of music and then really used it like really brought it into what he was doing. Cause I mean, when you think about it, the egg bag for all its greatness is just, here's an egg, now it's gone, now it's back. That's all it really is, you know? And he just added so much charm and, and comedy to it, you know, just cause he chose the right music, you know? And, and he's better, it's not just the music. I mean, it's the whole Mullica package. It's him, it's yeah. him. It's, it's the Tom whole Mullica, Mullica package, yeah. but. Well, one yeah. feels as though he could uh, take a piece of music, any piece of music, and figure out a clown show for it. And in yeah. fact, it's just kind of amazing that he actually picks the ones that he does. Because he really could, you know, take a chewing wrapper and chewing gum wrapper and turn it into like 40 minutes. Right? Yeah, now, right. If you're going right. to do this one next, we had an agreement that we talked about beforehand. Normally in these reactions uh, videos, we'll stop and react when there's something uh, noteworthy and remarkable. But this is a 12 minute clip. So we're going to save our conversation for the end, and we'll probably maybe revisit a few spots in it as we go along. Uh, I wish there was a way uh, we could see that bar while we're going, but there isn't, is there? Mm -hmm. You know what I can do is I'll use this baby. Well, and also I'd like to mention this is the way that this is the actual opening. We watched the egg bag. It was a little out of sequence because he would do that later in his show. This is the, actually the way he's introduced and he starts his show. So this, this gives you a real sense for what it's like to just be in the presence of Malika and have him be your magician for the night to step up and, and actually how he would start, how he opens. And this is basically our favorite guy doing card tricks. Like for, if you like, for card tricks, this is like my favorite guy ever to watch these card tricks. All right, here we go. Tom Malika. <laughs>
Oh, Hi. <laughs> Thank you. I'll introduce myself. I haven't eaten. You took a lunch break. <laughs> I'm just going to do a couple card tricks. Uh, would you take one out? Would you take one out? Would you take one out? And would you take one out? Look at the card, remember the card, fondle the card, and laugh like hell. <laughs> There's number one. Number two. What's your first name? Okay. Pretend I don't know you. <laughs> Dan? Thank you. I've enjoyed meeting you. I really have. Really. Some people I could go without, but I've enjoyed a lot of them. <laughs> now, it would be a good trick if I could find your cards, but I think it'd be a better trick if you could find your own cards. Wouldn't that be neat? Yeah. Was your card uh, red or black? Oh, my God, I forgot. <laughs> Do you know how much more impressive this is going to be if you remember the damn thing? <laughs> Will you know it when you see it again? Yes. Are you proud of that? <laughs> Martha, push okay. any one of those cards towards me except for the bottom three. Okay. Okay, this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, you push out any one in the whole spread. Who, me? Yes. And uh, you push out anyone except the middle seven, the bottom four, and the top five. <laughs> There's nothing left. Well, just fake it. <laughs> That'll work. And you push out anyone except the top one. Which one's the top one? The one the <laughs> Stay. <laughs> They'll jump back if you don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> what was your card? Five of hearts. That eliminates that one, doesn't it? <laughs> what was yours? Mine's the one that's left. <laughs> like that one? No, I, I don't think so. What was your card? What? <laughs> <In> the clubs. <laughs> and yours? Seven of diamonds. And yours? Five of hearts. Right. <laughs> now, the only one I showed was hers because she doesn't know what the hell her card was anyway. <laughs> now, now listen, there's a, th now, there's a theory in magic that says you should not start out with your best routines. And uh, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Now, to prove, both of you take another one, both of you take another one, the trick will not work unless you remember the card. It's like talking to a quaalude. Now, please, just for the hell of it. Must be a camel. Look at the hump in that damn thing. There goes your card. Number two. I'm going to try and prove to you that you can fool some of the people some of the time. And as far as I'm concerned, that's enough to show a profit. <laughs> Abe Lincoln once said that you can't fool all of the people all of the time, and I personally think that's why the power company takes turns every month with the telephone company. You know, they don't want to do it all at once. Now we're going to start. Do you remember your card yes, to King of Strange? <laughs> well, should, should I still ask you if it was red or black? Black. <laughs> She's a Helen Keller graduate. <laughs> Push the King of Spades towards me. Oh, sure. <laughs> I use ban. 
<laughs> you push any one out in the whole spread. Now that she remembers her card, we'll get this done. Your card, push it out, Dan. I would, you push out any one, I mean, even including the top one, because I told you you couldn't pick it last time. Do you want the top one? No, I want the Was that your card? Yeah, no. It's a good thing you didn't pick it. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll show you a miracle. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> what, what was your card? <coughs> oh no! <laughs> I know it, I know it. It's three clips. <laughs> That's one. Ooh, ace of hearts. That's two. Six of hearts. You're a damn good ventriloquist. <laughs> Your lip did not move. <laughs> it came out of this dummy over here. Oh, I'm sorry. Do I? Yeah. <laughs> She's so good. We had to stop it sometime. So, what did did y'all notice? Did that seem like there was a little bit of a truly impromptu stuff happening to the master there? That's sort of why I chose this one because I, there was another one where it was perfect, but I loved the idea that all the comedy was coming out of this mistake and to see this guy under the lights, like in a moment of like, you know, what could have been a total failure and a flop where you just fall on your face. He handled it like a pro and just made it funnier. I think. Yeah. You just keep swimming. He's just swimming, man. He's just like, okay, it doesn't even matter. He's like a real bar magician. And he's yeah. in this studio where they've basically got a whole bunch of people hanging out for a formal shoot of a magic. This is back when it was the first instructional tapes on yoga and magic. And they were like a hundred bucks for an instructional tape. And they were literally having the best guys in the universe do it. Only 10 people were going to make a VHS tape, you know? And of course he's treating it like it's a bar. So <laughs> I've been to really some of these day shoots where they try to pretend like it's a bar, like for Scotty York and, uh, uh, Oh, there was a couple other ones that I that I was a part of where they would basically just bring in coolers full of booze and just let these people just get liquored up so that they're laughing like it is a bar, even though it's like two in the afternoon when they're shooting this thing. You know? So it wasn't just Scotty. I mean, the key is they didn't want it to just be Scotty that was loaded at, at noon. They shot it. <laughs> they had to bring, you know. So that that routine right there. So he's so I don't know if he if he messed up or if he truly decided to bail because she forgot her card but something went haywire there and mm -hmm. he did a cards to pocket an impromptu cards to pocket instead of reselection. So they know? picked out four cards, yeah. right? Yeah. And were they the cards that ended up in his pocket? I Not the first time. Not the no, first okay, time because so, she forgot the cards. So he sort of so, failed. It seems. So, what, so she forgot the cards and he realized it in time not to carry forward. And so he literally just pulled four wrong cards out of his pocket and played out the whole string. Is that what happened? Or, Wouldn't well, but what Adam said is valid, too. I mean, maybe he did screw up and he palmed the wrong four cards. You know, he was under fire and that might that moment might have thrown him. I mean, we'll never know, right? It, it, we'll it, know. it threw me, too. I mean, I was so busy watching Tom Mullica sort of in this unique moment that I just got caught up in the comedy of it. And I was going, wow, you know, that trick doesn't go there. That was so wonderful. Let's Let's see what happens next. Yeah, because this next part is part is so awesome. We love this set like more than anything. Yeah, this this next this the next three effects are just great. Let's see. Here we go. Thanks. <laughs> I did it twice, but it worked. <laughs> Taste that. <laughs> King of Spades. That's mine. <laughs> I <laughs> love Six Flags. <laughs> they travel with me. <laughs> kibbles and bits, kibbles and bits. <laughs> Dan, which one of those would you choose? The match? Oh, wait a minute, let me put the cigarette out. I don't like that burning like that. I'll save that one. Which would you choose, the match or the cigarette? The match. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> no.
God, I'll smack you right now. Uh, Six of hearts. Yeah. S-I-X-O-F-H-E-A-R-T-S. Ace of hearts. A-C-E-O-F-H-E-A-R-T-S. I hope the three of cups. <laughs> right. R-I-G-H-T. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, great. Oh, Thank you. Oh, Keeps going. <laughs> <laughs> I have to do a good show today. There's a scout in the audience. And I've always wanted to make Eagle Patrol. <laughs> Three of clubs. Dan. Ace of hearts. Oh. Oh. Trixie. <laughs> <laughs> and you know who the king of yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're really nice people. I appreciate that. <laughs> it's very hard to be an idiot and be appreciated for that. <laughs> oh, this feels like the wrong card. It feels like a club. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Shuffle at. Oh. <laughs> People are very strange. Loaded into. <laughs> it was my. Um, uh, I forgot where the cards were here. I've been trying to distract your attention, Dan. Which one of. That's a collector's item. Um, oh, you've done it. <laughs> Have you ever had a trapdoor booger? <laughs> That's the kind that you can't dig them out, and when you exhale, they go, <laughs> and you inhale, and they go, <laughs> and you can't dig those damn things. Those are trapdoor boogers. <laughs> Dan, which one of those would you say is yours? No. No. Well, where are our four cards? <laughs> Mr. Magician. <laughs> They're under my ashtray, customer. Oh. Look, oh. it's a damn trick. Thank you. Thanks. Did you see me put them under the ashtray? You think you think you could catch me if I did it again? Huh. I already did it. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> The same damn four cards. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Notice that excitement, right? That, That's that, so great. That excitement. One behind excitement. Woo! That's hot, dude. Is that the, that's so the whole thing? We did it. That's the whole thing. The whole 
That's it goes too fast. It goes by too fast. It's watching Tom Mullica do that magic. Mm, it's so yeah. sweet. I know that we've all heard this, right? Where, where you'll hear people say, oh, don't open with a card trick or only do one card trick. People don't like cards. And then you look at a guy like Tom Mullica and you're like, I don't want to see him do anything else. You know, he's just out there with a deck. It's the most beautiful kind of magic. And he's just out there with a deck of cards. He's just killing, you know, he's just killing. It, it, it's definitely enough to make you say, well, see, you can entertain people with card trick. But of course, Tom Mullica is it's literally tough. the most entertaining man. Uh, to watch he, he sort of has the same trade as a lot of these other guys that we consider to be funny magicians is that i think if he took away the i mean he loves the magic it's part of his persona but i think if he took away the magic he'd probably be a stand-up comedian he would be just as funny right but that's that's why the whole thing works is because he's got those two things like working together in conjunction and it's uh there's nothing like it it's one of them we all standing here I want to bring your attention to like the, what is essentially my favorite moment in this whole thing too. Right. So as a magician, like this part turns me on right here. So he's going to do, he's going to do a four card switch that is so fast and beautiful. And then he's going to get, he's going to do that ashtray load and watch, just watch how fast it all goes. It's, it's hard to even see it. So this is when my selections turn into not my selections and my, and my four selections end up underneath the ashtray yeah. a long time. It all, yeah, it all happens right yeah. here. Just watch. I'm gonna not even do any sound. And, watch, watch this switch right here. Boom. And watch this. Boom. <laughs> That's now so let, great. Let's see how long it, this whole shtick. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you can see the bar at the bottom, but this entire bit is all just time letting the people stop even considering the, how clearly they know that the cards on the table in front of them are their selections. Like this, this whole shtick. He talks about how in his, in his teaching on this, he talks about how important, important the bar towel is. And yep, there now he's bringing them back. He even says that line where he's like, "I don't even remember what the cards are at this point." It's so subtle. And he's got the he's got this gag, but yeah. Oh, is this trapdoor boogers? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a that if there was ever a misdirective bit, right? After trapdoor boogers, you won't remember that you're watching a card trick. Yeah, that's right. But that's that was the moment there. We I won't take you through the rest of it because if you want to learn it, you just you should just learn it. I mean, you should just go. You should just find that impossible to get book that I had to mm. kill somebody over. I literally had a friend and I had to kill him in order to get that Malika book. So, uh, sorry, that's I just rude. I had to kill him. The sooner you buy it, the sooner uh, you'll. You know what? As long as you're in, <laughs> the you sooner it'll be in your collection, and less money you'll spend. You should go ahead and let him. Let him rewatch the second switch too, because you know it's just as amazing. Oh yeah, okay. this one's one behind. This time he does the effect before he does you're, the. Method. You're talking about after he pulls the cards out of the ashtray the second. I'm time. talking about the repeat. So watch, yeah, yeah, like yeah. right after he produces the. Are, are we on? Are they watching? Yeah, yeah, we see it. So he, he's gonna right here. You'll notice because he's gonna scream about the effect, and he hasn't done the method yet, and that's, that's right. part of the key. Where are our cards, Mr. Magician? So look, they palm them right back off. Boop. And watch this reload. It's a dark old trio. Watch the reload. The hand comes to rest on the table. His right hand comes to rest on the table. Right there. All the attention now is Boom. on those four cards while he reloads. And those are not the selections. No, those are the selections. The, selections oh, the ones that are face up are the selections. Yeah. He reloaded four <laughs> dummy cards under there the it is ashtray. Again. And now there's in the other palm right there. He just palms off the selections again. That's Boom. Screaming. It, they're there. They're there. They're there. And then here it is. Look Switch. at this add on. There they he are. He adds them to the top, slaps them on. It's just beautiful. Like the construction of that whole thing yeah. is amazing. For all you who've been asking us about palming cards and getting those cards bent, not bent, you'll notice that those are nice, high caliber, high quality cards. And they are always just a little bent. And it don't matter at all. They're getting shuffled all night, bent all night, sprung all night. They get a little bent. Mm -hmm. Just like and that's another hand. thing about Tom is that he's using a new deck of cards every time he performs because he's using it for the gags, right? He's using it. He wants the cellophane. He gets a hold like three minutes out of the cellophane when he's pulling the cellophane off the deck, you know? So it's about using a brand new deck of cards every single time. So they, you know, he doesn't care. 
It's mm -hmm. over, they're gone. He gives the deck away, he throws the deck away. It's just a prop that gets used for the show. Might as well be a pack of cigarettes. It's in sensational. I'm actually pretty thrilled about this next one. I've never, I've not, I haven't seen this. If I've seen this tape, it was when I was a kid, because that's the last time I, I remember when I was watching that VHS. Same. You know, having Same. said that, it might be interesting to do another Tom Mullica day and watch the four card routine from this other performance because it's different. Mm -hmm. it's, its own, it's its own thing. Well, I'd love that. I'd love that. I'd like Great. to see him do Winterland Great. in '78. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we? We shall, Let's we shall. This is my favorite card trick. Count 20 cards out loud there for me, would you please? It doesn't matter which ones. We're only using 20 cards in this magic wand. Gotta love that hair. Boy, I'd give my right arm to be ambidextrous. <laughs> give my right arm to be ambidextrous. <laughs> Let's have a sing-along while she's doing this. <laughs> Everybody knows the words. You can join in. Yum, 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 Oh, now we're not using these. Hey, bumper cards. And square those up. I don't want to touch those yet. Have you been out to Thunder River yet? No. Have you been out there? You haven't been out there yet? I didn't hit her. Don't worry about it. I sure nail that guy back there, didn't I? <laughs> hey, you've been here before, haven't you? Yeah, I recognize the shirt. Now take these. <laughs> eh. <laughs> Are you Korean, sir? Oh, damn it. No, because I was in Korea for 13 months when I was in the Army. I learned how to speak Korean, and I haven't met one yet to talk to. Ain't that a bummer? You learn a language, you can't find anybody to talk to? What nationality are you, sir? Arkansas. Arkansas. <laughs> That's very funny. Uh, now, uh, um, where do you work at? Benny Hahn of Arkansas? Or? You want to drive somebody nuts? Go to Benny Hahn and ask one of those guys how to use a fork. <laughs> Now, cut the packet. Do you like oriental cooking? Oh, there's a new uh, cookbook out over here at Lenox Square. It's 50 Ways to Walk Your Dog. <laughs> now, now cut, cut the packet approximately in half. Uh, now, okay, now uh, pick up either half. You're sterile. <laughs> okay. You're right. No, I'm right. <laughs> How does he know, honey? Now answer me truthfully. Have I touched the cards that you have yet? When you gave them to me. But other th after that, I did not touch them. Okay, sit on them. <laughs> They'll do anything you tell them. <laughs> you take the remainder of the deck, which I call the tally, ho, and count them out loud so that she can hear you. One, two, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven. seven. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Now, if she has seven, if you started with 20 with no help from your neighbor, <laughs> if you are good at general math, how many cards are you perched on? Yeah, which side are they on? <laughs> uh, you put yours under this side over here. <laughs> now, now the remainder of the deck here is used as a transportation device. A what? A transportation. Did you say that? You take a card out and turn it face up, and it'll tell me something. Just take one out, turn it face up, and it'll tell me something. Thank you. Beautiful. You know what that card told me? <laughs> Besides that, it told me to transfer three cards. Oh, that's right, kids. <laughs> three cards from underneath your posterior to underneath your butox. Now, I used to use my hands for this, <laughs> but I got slapped in the face a couple times, so we'll use this magic wand here. Now watch, card number one. You see it on the end of the wand up there? You do? What the hell are you draping? <laughs> card number one. 
Oh, a rim shot. <laughs> Card number two. Hey, you're a quart low, by the way. You know? <laughs> card number two. The three of clubs, three cards. Card number three. Do your addition and or subtraction now so you will not be embarrassed in a minute. And would you take the third one off the wand? Look at this Looney Tune. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <coughs> when the guy in the wagon comes, you're going with me. <laughs> How many cards did you have at the beginning of the Tricky Poo? 20 or 13? Uh, both are right, actually. <laughs> uh, but you ended up sitting on 13. Yeah. If I did what I said I was going to do, <laughs> how many cards are you now sitting on? Yep. Let's go saddle a horse, Roy. <laughs> Remember Mark Spitz? Yeah. Now, if she had, if she had 13, and if I took three, and if she's got 10, <laughs> and if you had seven, and if I did what I said I was going to do, you are now sitting on. Yeah. Do you believe that? Yeah. You do. <laughs> you want to buy some stock in DeLorean? <laughs> Okay, I'm going to impress you even further. I'm going to make those same three cards go all the way back. <laughs> <laughs> they never believed this. You had 13, I took three, you've got 10. Take your cards out and doodly do. Don't doodly do up here, just count them. <laughs> That's the only way you'll know there's 10 there. <laughs> That's true. Well, sure, you don't think you pay five bucks and have 10? Here, I've got an idea. No, let me see. Those are Ronco nails? Those are pretty. Oh. <laughs> now, she had to put these back dead center, and you know where that is. Dead center, yeah. Off they go into the wild blue yonder, smiling high. <laughs> she had 13, I took three. She has 10, you had seven, I had three. You have 10. Take your cards out and count them. I just won't believe it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I know. Now, don't we know a lot about this lady right here? Look at ten. the shape of these cards. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you see her? Whoa. <laughs> now you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten warm cards. <laughs> you've got ten. Now watch, I'll do this visibly. Did you feel that? No. Oh, here comes another one. Did you feel that? You did? You had 10, now you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. You had 10, I had a two, you have 12. Take them out and count them and the applause will be deafening. <laughs> <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> So beautiful. I want to watch that color change again. Can we see that color change again? Do we have time? Yeah. Yeah. I just want to see the last color it. change again. Let me find it real quick. You went way early, way past that. No, toward the end. It's the, right before that. Okay. It's right in there. He right. takes those last two. Certainly an interesting way to handle those final uh, cards, huh? Yeah. I yeah. I, no, I love it. I just want to see it. It looked like he did a strange steal that second card, though. I want to see if oh, he I did. See. Yeah. 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 Uh, you want to see the first and second one? Uh, yes, I did. But you're really close to it. Yeah, it was just a little before. It. <laughs> You've got ten. Now watch, I'll there, do this visibly. Pretty, pretty. Not confused by that. Did one. you feel that? No. Oh, here comes another one. Yeah. They went cord card to cord card. That's why. You no, did. but I. Think, uh, you had ten. Think, now you've got one, two, three, way. four, five. He stole, he stole it from the back. The yeah, second one, he stole it. from the back. Another one. Did you feel that? You got ten. Now watch, I'll do this visibly. That's a standard. Did you feel that? Oh, here comes another one. Yeah, thumb steal there. Totally. That's a big handed man, y'all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a, a big handed that's man. That's a big handed man that gets to do his color changes like that. You know what I mean? You got to have a big sweet hand. <laughs> he's definitely you can't a have giant little dude. baby raccoon paws. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely a big dude. I hung out with him a handful of times and he's he's bigger than me. And he was a lot bigger than me. I came up to his knee. You know, <laughs> his hands are so big, he was actually freewheeling with his finger with palmed cards earlier. He was just like, boom, like, like they were little playtime cards. They were <laughs> he as much as he was like, he had a freewheeling finger and all the cards were beautifully copped. <laughs>
With none, so what if none of his tricks were stopped? He went to his maker, incredibly copped. <laughs> and so, I mean, okay. in terms of cards across, everybody has their favorites, right? You like that one? I, I've had to read it, like Adam was saying. The whole trick is a bit of an opportunity for a lot of, like all of them, for time to tell jokes. And, and maintaining the clarity of the effect is where a lot of energy goes into. You had how many? You have how many? I'm going to take three. That leaves you with how many? And how many would you have? And because they're laughing so hard, they got to keep repeating it and keeping it in there. And that's the complex part of the trick. But if you, underneath all of that, the effect, they deal out 20 cards themselves. They take half the cards and place them under their own buttocks, Right. The other cards are counted by the other person. Then the number of cards passes. And so it's impossibly clean because I take 20 cards. And then in my mind, I take 10 of them. You never touch them. And I place them underneath my butt. And then they travel to, neath, uh, to underneath there. So there's definitely plenty of room to debate if that's your favorite method for a cards across. But that one's definitely got stuff going for it, you know, that I can see why you wouldn't choose that method but after it took me like 20 times reading it in that book to see what's so beautiful and i i it, it's a trick it's a fooler i mean it's a real fooler to people but of course trick like that simply don't work without an entertaining party atmosphere <laughs> yeah adam you, you know there was there was right something else that's center. interesting that's in there he does a masterful classic force too when he forces yeah. that three yeah. It might be worth looking at that again because the naturalness when they come and approach and he's putting that card right in their hand, it doesn't feel like it. It feels like they're genuinely taking it, what they it's want. It's like it, there was no, it's like nothing like that could have ever happened. Where right. was it? Where was it in the video? It, it's right before the, the cards go. Everything's yeah. under her butt. I yeah. mean, it's right before that final phase. Well, right, let's see if I can find it. It's, it's those two, those two final phases, right? Because they, they travel and then, they, then he does the visual. To make but the travel. three, but the three is forced before the first phase. I don't think there is a card selected for the second phase. I think it just makes two go. Isn't that so? I think you're right. I think you are right. Yeah. Let's see if I can find it. Are it's, we... it's before that. Yeah. Uh, it's when he uses the card as the transportation device, and he and when he's to when he's talking to the card, and the card's yeah. telling him go back when, he, he's, when he zips up his fly. Right. It's that Adam when he turns around. Because the card gives them the message. Yeah, Aaron's right. It's totally at the beginning. It's right. It's right after oh. that. Yeah, well. It's right after those cards are counted out and put under their butts. Then a card is selected. After that. After that. After that. When see, when he turns after around, you'll, you'll know you're at the moment. Uh, there it is. There it before, is. That, so right before that. Of course, card. Perfect. Right there. Okay. Perfect. Nice work, Adam. Yeah. There it is. You could spot that cut. That cut. Woo. Go, go oh, it looks so good though, though right? So good. Feels so the only free. Tell y'all is that the is that that there's that one straight cut right before he does it. Boom. If there's a tell, right? <laughs> but that Ooh, does not, that does not feel God. like a force. Do it again because I what I what I I want to see is after the cut if there's a step if you can see the card the whole time or not. Can you see it right there? He might be able to, but they know. can't. You can't see it from the front. He does something I don't... You guys watch it? What I think he did was, I think he passed it, and I think he scooted it back when he got there. Could be. Which, I mean, at the very least, he just jogged that card right above it, right? That true. Or, or the yeah. card. I you think it I mean? might be the card. I think that he's cutting the... Nope, he's got. it's got to be on top. And it's the one that's on top of the lower he, packet. He he passes it and then jukes it back under her finger. I'd never seen such. Great. Do you see it? You see that? It was like he's got it. He passes it. She's there, and then it and then it popped back to there when, when she, as her finger was moving forward. Yep, he moved a little block there, right under her finger. Totally. That's a. That ain't beautiful. <laughs> that's, a, that's a wonderful example of what it's supposed to look like. I, I love watching that over and over again. That's fun. Oh, wow. All right. So, guys, we've got to end on the high note, right? We got just enough time to watch this, and we yeah. ain't going to have much to say about this puppy because uh, it speaks this, for itself. This there's is not right. much to say. <laughs> not much to say. All right. Don't try this at home. That's, that's the best right. thing to say about it. Yeah.
magician has ever been able to duplicate what he does, mainly because no other magician has ever been able to figure out the exact secret. So keep telling yourselves, this is just an illusion. This is just an illusion. But it won't help. <laughs> Here's the totally amazing Tom Mullica. <laughs> Boy, these are pretty good. <laughs> Boy, doesn't that breeze feel good? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Have you ever been this close to a geek? <laughs> Did she say yes? Thank you very much. You're very strange. Uh. Oh, what the heck? Boy, those things are bland as hell, aren't they? Oh, you don't mind if I smoke, do you? Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh. We, can I ask some questions? Would that be all right? Yeah. Like, here's, here's, I, I, is this written up anywhere? No. No. Because, because I don't want to do it, but I want to understand it. No, it, and you didn't ask questions. There about is it. a place where it is that he did lay it out when he did those. I was there when he when he he did them. He did the uh, those A one things on uh, uh, smoking. Right, it was just like a three volume volume set on cigarette magic. Uh -huh. At the end of that third volume, he does break down the whole thing and how the whole thing works with you know disclaimers all over. Don't do it. You're gonna yeah. hurt yourself. It's, I hurt myself every time. So it is completely there. The elements of it are in the book, though. So beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. One of a kind, obviously. All right. Well, guys, that was a that's that's just a little touch of Malika. I mean, there's so much more there when you start to dig into the master himself. So we probably will try to do another another day. Yeah, we would let we we would do our whole life of uh, Tom Malika. One thing to let you know is uh, it was a magic trick. What? Oh, the cigarettes? That much you could say. It's a magic trick. Yeah, he didn't swallow those for sure. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Right. There's, there's a method to that, totally. Yeah. And it'll still kill you. You don't want to do it. But yeah, it'll uh, still kill you. And he, and he doesn't practice. He, he didn't practice the trick, right? He slowly built his way up to having that full suite of all of that stuff. But you can't practice it because 
he burned himself every single time he did it and you can't practice and do it. His way of dealing with the pain was the laughter. Leave it at that. Mm.